Welcome to another episode of Reef Keeping. What's up guys, it's Noah here. Hope you guys are doing great this week. I am so far. It's beautiful outside. So we're just gonna do this real quick and then I'm gonna go off on the motorcycle, ride with some friends. On this episode, we're gonna talk about dosing and particularly alkalinity because as you can see, it's running low so I need to make a new batch. So before I start, I'm gonna show you um, some new addition to the tank. It's crazy because I cannot ever imagine this tank having this many corals. This tank has more corals than 75 gallons and you know, more corals than most of the 120 fat boys. So this is, this is the new two edition right here. Actually three, four different edition. Um, bird nest and moose um, colony. Those two right there just got added in. Um, what else we got here? We got this really cool green mushroom over there. Maybe you'll see it's right there, right next to the plug. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, this is this is so big that I can't even fit this co this colony, and you know, I gotta put it to the side over here. So we're gonna try to frag some stuff, sell some stuff, and then make some space. I know some of you guys wonder how I get so many corals in here. Honestly, I don't even know. This is a 65 gallon, and I never would have thought, you know, that it would ever get to this point where I, you know, am becoming like a coral hoarder. So I really need to watch what I'm spending on and it's really awesome because every day I get to see all these cool things but here's the thing is to maintain these kind of corals you have to give it some dosing it's almost like you're feeding steroids to the tank this is a really cool coral here it's starting to color up uh, this has been out for a while but it hasn't colored up to like like to this kind of color until I noticed lately uh, one of the nice things I like to do when I do have a nice tank is once in a while I'll stop taking a look at it so I can come back to it and notice these subtle changes because when you look at tanks every day you don't really see these kind of things but this coral in particular is is turning lime green with pink tips and I don't know if the camera can pick it up as much because the lights are blue but man I am excited that this, co this coral is coloring up from what it used to be. It used to be like brownish or golden. So it's turning to, you know, more of an awesome, rare colors. Anyways, back to our topic, alkalinity. What do I dose? Um, this is the mix that I use. It is from Bulk Resupply, and I've always used it. I've always liked the result of it. I used to do Kalkwasser, but then I went to two parts because in Kalkwasser, about 10 to 15% of the water is not usable because of the sludge in the bottom. You do not want to dose that in the tank. So I was like, I might as well just spend a bit more and just dose it with, um, you know, with straight alkalinity and, and calcium. I'll top off going off right now. But anyways, for the sake of time, I already measured the, the, um, the chemicals that is needed, which is two cups, one gallon. One thing I would recommend is doing this, write it on this um, container so you don't have to go online to take a look at it every time you have to mix it. And then have a spare one for um, containing the chemical and one for mixing. So now that I already measured two cups out, what I can do now is fill up the one gallon. One thing also is that if you have a pet or anything like that and you happen to, um, you know, start funneling these chemical into here and it drops on the ground or anything like that make sure you're vacuuming it up because I know my dog he's kind of crazy because he'll just lick whatever he sees on the ground and that can really you know just poison your pet or maybe even a family or an infant member you know or someone that's just around the ground a lot and they're not particularly sure about this chemical just make sure you clean it up as soon as possible so here we are we got our water RODI actually this is spring water and then I'm gonna mix it in this two cup solution right here. So with this, we're just gonna try to get to as high as we can. This is the boring part. It just takes forever to fill this up. But anyways, you guys get the idea. You fill it up all the way to the top, you shake it around, and then make sure that you can dissolve it as much as you can. And then the next day, just um, refill the soda ash and next next video we're gonna do a video on calcium but uh, that's pretty much it and to find out how much you're needed daily I would suggest going on bulk resupply website do the math there I know you can do like uh, amount of gallons of water uh, amount of pound of rocks or things like that and then your current um, your current level of 
alkalinity and your um, desired level. It will give you the math and then you could um, then just every day set it on a timer. The one thing that I do like about the timer on these is that uh, it's, it's worth investing in a doser because sometimes we you know especially in the summer it's so nice I just want to go home and go out and just hang out with my dog or hang out with friends and family instead of dosing the tank so if you're one of those people who like to go out when the weather is nice which is very rare in Minnesota then you want to invest in something like that anyways that is it let me know how much you guys dose if you guys already started dosing I know my tank let's see here my tank is at 85 milliliters for alkalinity and I think that's kind of high daily but I'm not sure just let me know what you guys think again remember to share like subscribe and comment below any questions I'll try to answer as soon as possible you guys have a good week see you later